uh, Trehan as well on this. Uh, uh, so as you were telling us that one ECMO, uh, the sense that we get is that it is used when the situation is acute. Can we say that uh, uh, perhaps the lungs have stopped functioning and that's the reason why ECMO in this case has been used? And at the same time, what do you make of these little uh, uh, statements that we are getting from the hospital? Earlier, a statement saying that she is in a critical condition. Now we have got a tweet uh, saying that Chief Minister remains in a grave situation. What does it all really tell you, sir? No, it, I mean, if you read the signals, first it was stable, then it became critical and now grave. So obviously the situation is not very good. Uh, the, like I said, if you can, are able to reverse the underlying damage to the lungs or the heart, then the hope becomes more. Now, is it possible that there, that there is, it's not, uh, it's not been successful in actually reversing the heart function, which had stopped, or, uh, and also the lung function, which has been in trouble for some time? that if that's the case then maybe the realization is that the chances are slim and that's why the statement the grave condition but i mean i you know as a doctor i don't want to speculate i only want to say that yes we hope that if there is still a chance you never give up till the end and it's up to the to the uh, authorities on the hospital to decide how the news comes uh, is given out but what I'm saying is that the right move was done by putting her, uh, her on ECMO to give her a second chance. Whether successful or not, time will tell. Right. Uh, so that was the uh, analysis that we got from Dr. Naresh Trehan, a renowned cardiologist. Sir, thank you very much for speaking with us here on Times Now, explaining to us uh, in terms of that's what welcome. is really uh, happening in terms of the treatment that's being given to uh, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister J.J. Lalita in Apollo Hospital, where she is being treated right now.